So I painted my bathroom, ready to hang this Moen Genta towel ring right over here. Let's see how it's gonna look. And also I have matching, and also I'm gonna put matching towel bar on that wall. We'll have to adjust. The instructions come with a template for easy install. This one specifically is 24 inches. So this would get posted on the wall and then once the holes are drilled out, we'll be able to install it. We get the template that you can use to mount uh, the size of towel holder that you're using. Uh, currently, we bought the 24 inch. Uh, I'm replacing my old 18 inch. Um, my scenario is different from others because I have sheathing behind this sheetrock here, so I'm not even going to be driving through those studs, but you will need to find at least one end to have studs. And then the other one you would use the provided anchors. Uh, these are pretty cool. You fold them down and you use the pin to push it through once you put it into the hole. Uh, if you don't have a stud here and just sheetrock. Again, for me, uh, I have sheathing back here because this is an addition. So uh, I will be driving these screws straight into the sheathing, which is plenty strong enough to mount the piece. Now, you will also need to use a level to get your piece leveled out. And you can use it, either use a template or use a tape measure to get the 24 inches that I need to mount the mounting plates. And so I've got my centers, I'll put one here, and then we'll put the other one here and we'll be ready to mount the piece. When you got both pieces on, uh, these are the mounting brackets. Uh, you will then need the mounting angle pieces for the actual towel. And this piece comes, sorry, this uh, towel holder comes in three pieces. So you wanna join it together first. And after you have backed off these set screws for each one using an Allen wrench, needs to back off because otherwise it won't slip on to there. And so once they're both backed up, uh, we will then insert the bar, join them together, and slip it over the uh, mounting brackets. There we go. And then make sure it's not falling over and just tighten up the uh, set screws right underneath your towel holder. Doesn't have to be super tight, but enough to make sure it doesn't slip off during use. This is the Moen Genta BH3682BL uh, towel ring. Um, we are gonna be replacing our old one, and I took out the old bracket. Currently our stud goes here, but I'm not going to be mounting over the stud because we don't want the towel hanging over our light switches. Uh, so I'll be mounting it to the existing uh, open area where there's no stud behind it. Um, so let's get to it. So things that we need is all in here. We have the two anchors, two plastic anchors, uh, and a push pin to expand it once it's through, but basically just fold them in like that after you drill the hole, shove it in, and then this will uh, expand it and hold it against the sheetrock. This is exactly what we need. And then the screws are here to later on anchor so that we can mount this plate. This kit does provide the Allen wrench 
for the set screw that is used to hold the mounting bracket into the fixture itself, like that. And it does have an up arrow key to make sure you put it up right. Next is the drilling. So we're just gonna place it back kind of in the center location of where it was originally. So all I wanna do is mark the drill hole centers just like that. So this does require uh, 5 16 holes, but um, I am not equipped with a 5 16 hole, so I'm just going to use this and open up the holes a little bigger than really So these anchors do need to be flush with the sheetrock, so you got to make sure that any paper part of the sheetrock is kind of folded away into the holes. And because I have two right next to each other, you make sure that you go in, when they expand, they have to go up and down in this direction. And then this one also the same direction like that. So the anchors go in and just give a little tap. And the second one. Once the anchors are in, you use this push pin to expand the uh, anchors just like that. And then we use the bracket and provided screws to fasten this down to the wall, just like that. First one in. Start the second one. Nice and snug. Just make sure the set screw is loose. And this is the bottom because the set screw is at the bottom. Start at the top. And just tighten it down. Just like that. 